Now the first step is to delete the config folder. Uh, to delete the config folder, you can open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open Users folder, now open your username folder, open App Data. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, select Show, put a check on Hidden Items, and then open App Data folder. Now open the local folder, open this Coalition folder, and over here you can see War Game folder. Open this folder. Here you can see this config folder. So you can make a right click on config folder, copy this. And if you want to create a backup, you can create a backup. Uh, once you have a backup uh, created, you can either you can rename it or you can even delete it. So rename or delete the, this config folder and then relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, in that case, the next step is to rename the save game files. Now, before you rename the save game files, create a backup first because when you rename the save game files, all the save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, uh, you can go to the same location. Uh, here you can see this codeation folder. So you can just copy this folder, paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created over here, now you can rename this folder and once you rename it, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to Steam users avoid signing with Microsoft account if you are able to launch the game. So when you launch the game, if you are able to launch the game, if you are not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. So when you launch the game, uh, here you can see uh, sign in with your Microsoft account. So you can select maybe later and then you can check. Now the next step is to Install easy anti cheat. Now, for this, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Now, over here, you can see install easy anti cheat option, make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And even if you don't see anything, uh, just uh, the command prompt will pop up for a microsecond. Even if you don't see anything, you can just uh, run that and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Make a right in the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check. So close this, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12 and then you can launch the game from here and then you can check. Now still not working. Uh, the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So let me close the game for now. So run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can uh, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, manage, browse local files. This will take you to the game installation folder. Try to launch this game from here. Just make a double click over here, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check not working you can open this binaries underscore x64 folder here you can see g o w d game exe file make a right click and then you can just make a double click first and launch the game if that does not work you can even click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you can try to launch the game and then check still not working and uh, then make a right click go to properties this time you can go to this tab put a check on the box which says run run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok now make a double click to launch the game and let me close the game for now. And then you can check still not working. Uh, go to properties and this time you can put a check over here. Select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check still not working. You can select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working, you can uncheck these boxes hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now th the next step is to, now if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file, all the exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, click on add an allowed app, click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. If the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the Steam folder, open the Steam. So open Steam, then open the Steam apps folder, open the common folder, open the game folder. Now select this exe file, click on open, again click on add and load app, browse all apps, open binaries, 
x64 select this exe file click on open and go back you can even uh, yeah now once you add it now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender change settings allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this folder select this exe file click on open and then click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to uh, perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing from nvidia so select your graphic card over here make sure that you select your graphic card now once you select your graphic card select the right operating system and then click on find and on this page uh, you will see the latest graphic card driver at the very top so for now it's 58108 geforce game ready driver you can click on view and then you can click on download download this file and once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run the exe file uh, click on yes to allow and then click on ok and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation over here and then click on next and once the installation is done restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to now amd card users go to amd website select your graphic card and then find the latest graphic card driver uh, install it restart your computer and then check run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here and then click on add desktop app over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game select uh, open this binaries x64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added over here now click on the game over here select high performance you will see your graphic card away again click on add desktop app and then go back you can add this one to add it once the game is added over here now you again select high performance only now you can launch the game desktop users make sure that you that your monitor is plugged into the dedicated graphic card like connect your hdmi cable or the display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not to the motherboard slot so if your computer has a dual graphic card like one is intel another is nvidia or amd make sure that you connect the uh, your hdmi cable or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot now for this uh, now the next step is to verify the game file now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then turn verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to turn on or turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this uh, you can go to uh, graphic settings and then once you go to graphic settings click on advanced graphic settings over here here you can see hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now if this is off turn it on and then you can launch the game really launch the game and if this is already on you can turn this off and then relaunch the game still not working try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options over here now over here in my case i have only balanced option now in your case uh, you might see this uh, power saver option you can select power saver launch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high performance check which one is working fine for you but first of all try power saver and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see visual studio files you have to scroll down download this x86 and x64 install both the files so click on x86 and then download this x64 file as well and once the download is complete run both the exe file so once the download is complete now you can click on this x86 and x64 now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install install this x64 file as well 
again if you see repair option click on repair if you see install button hit install and then let the installation complete once both are installed now restart your computer restart is a must after this after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter which you are not using disconnect it disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected if you have any kind of virtual controller connected like vjoy etc disable it or uninstall it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to uh, general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then you can launch the game if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running then launch nvidia app and then you can go to settings and turn off nvidia overlay over here and then launch the game now so close all the overlay application and then launch the game do not overclock if you have overclocked set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reva tuner any kind of overlocking application running close it if you have any third party services running uh, or application running you can just close it if you have undervolted you can be remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory now for this you can type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings now go to the first settings under advanced tab and then go to advanced tab once again over here click on change over here uncheck the box this one and then select the drive where the game is installed you have to select where the game is installed you have to select that particular drive and then select custom size over here now for initial size this is what is working for me 1.5 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in systems and you can go to about option over here and in my case the total ram is 16 gigabyte so we have to convert this 16 gigabyte into megabyte so in my case it's 16 so you have to calculate as per your ram so 16 in my case multiplied 1024 that is in megabyte multiplied 1.5 for initial size multiplied 1.5 for initial 24576 in my case as per my ram now again maximum size is 3 multiplied total ram so you can try this uh, 16 gb ram multiplied 1024 in megabyte multiplied 3 that is 49152 49152 and then click on set over here click on set is important and then click on ok and then you have to launch the game if that does not work restart your computer and then check if that does not work the next step is to again type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and this time you can go to settings and then again advance change and then this time you select system manage size and then click on set set is important click on ok and then restart your computer restart is a must do after this restart now after the system restart launch the game if that does not work we will just go to default so if these two are not working you can go to settings advance and then change and then you can put a check over here and then click on ok and again you have to restart your computer after the system restart launch the game next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number so make sure that you select your computer and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected when you update the system bios after the bios update check now nothing working you can uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working just uninstall the game after you uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive like d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel